Today, we're gonna to talk about, can I get a job just knowing JavaScript? Other guy Joe asks, I hear people say you should learn HTML and CSS before you learn JavaScript, but I also hear people say you can be a JS dev without even touching the other two. So, from a professional point of view, can one be successful with just JavaScript? Okay, so I'm glad you're asking the question now early on in your learning process. And I want to tell you from a professional point of view, and I think the reason you want to talk to a professional is because you want to get there as well. You want to be paid to be a software developer. So while there's a lot of advice out there on the internet about like you can just know this and you don't need to know anything else about that, it's not really true. So what you need to think about this is in terms of what stack am I using to build the application? Now, what I want to point you to, towards is the most important, not the most important, but the most in-demand job right now, which is full stack web developer. And that consists of HTML, CSS that you'll need to know, JavaScript, some kind of backend language like C Sharp, and then SQL on the back end. Now, what we call that is the .NET stack. And so .NET consists also of some tooling like Visual Studio. So the thing that you should be looking at right now is I want to download Visual Studio and I want to start building full stack projects using that tool. And guess what? When you, when you use a template inside of Visual Studio, the front end that it's going to give you, the HTML and the CSS it's going to give you is written in Bootstrap. So it's going to tell you what front end framework you should use and you can use that and edit that and change that and then you use javascript which is universal on the front end as a front end language and then the back end you'll use c sharp and then to access the database you'll use something like sql and so that stack will focus you into your learning it will focus you on the things that you need to know to be productive and then you can build projects and solutions and show those to potential employers that also use that same stack so now for, therefore, they don't have to read into you and say, can you learn this? You can demonstrate that you learn it with the tooling, with the languages that they use, and so you're more of a match for that company. So focus in on a stack. I think .NET stack is the best one to focus on because there's a lot of opportunities out there to break in as a junior developer. Anyway, I hope this helps and keep coding. If you like that, I've put together five steps that you need to follow to get your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfounder.com slash job roadmap. My team will be there to help you out as you get your first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe and we can give you more great content just like this.